Thank you very much for coming here. Thank you very much for taking four days of your life to be involved with the embryo, because that's what we are talking about, the embryo. And I will show you that the embryo is not the past. It's not long ago. It's not far away. The embryo is actuality. It's in you. It's the most fundamental in you. It is you creating your body. Don't think that you once upon a time created a body and that then the body started to work and to walk and to talk. No. Every night, every day, you still are constructing your body. You are involved in shaping your body every second of your life. That's the primary act you do. You are not a body producing thoughts. You are not a body producing, you know, feelings. Your body is an act. You are performing your body. Your body is not a machine. Your body is not anatomy. Your body is process. Your body is a motion, a process, a continuous process during your whole life. And that's the embryo in you. That means that nowadays we do not understand an embryo at all. Because modern science has declared that embryos do not have consciousness. They do not have souls. Why not? They lack the organ which we nowadays associate with our soul, with our psyche, and that's the brain. And when you're an embryo, you don't have a brain. Not at all. It takes seven months before you get something that looks like a functioning brain. What are you doing these first seven months in your life? Shaping your brain. You are shaping your brain. Not your brain is shaping you. It's the reverse. You do not come from your body. Your body comes from you. That's what I have to tell you. It takes four days to tell it, because I need to tell it to you in harmony with science. Don't forget that. Nowadays, science has become our modern church. Science has become our modern religion. If we want to know why, we go to science nowadays. In the early days, we went to the church or to God or whatever. But nowadays, we go to science and ask why. And science never answers that question. Because the important question we all have is why? Why am I here? Why do we exist? Where do we come from? Where are we going to? That are the why questions. And science is never talking about knowing why. Science is always talking about knowing how. They tell us about causes. Cause, causes. You understand me? Science tells you what the things that, that this life, this world, this body is caused by genes by cells, by biochemistry. And that's not the answer to the question. The question is why? It's the question that the children always ask. Because children still live in a reality we as adults have lost. We as adults have become onlookers. We are all the whole day we look upon things. We are onlookers. We are scientists. We think about things. Children don't know how to do that yet. Children experience. They feel. And then they can ask the face